Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hi to everyone. So in this video, so we we continue with our discussion of a transmission line model, and here we start with or we proceed with uh, the part three of the discussion on the medium transmission line, and we begin with the definition where. Basically, the transmission transmission line for the uh, medium distance is defined in between 80 km oops, up to uh, 250 km. So, we have seen the uh, short transmission line which is covered from 0 up to 80 km and now we move on to the second part of of the transmission line, namely medium line, and uh, it is covered from 80 kilometer and then up to 250 kilometer. So we do have the shunt capacitance, which we have been uh, which has been neglected in the short line model, but taken into uh, consideration this time around, so included and divided into two equal parts placed at the uh, both sending and receiving receiving ends of the line to form the so-called nominal phi nominal phi model. Okay, so this is the uh, additional part of the uh, medium transmission line. Okay, uh, we have the uh, shunt capacitance. Okay, and here the total shunt emittance. Okay, is given by y equal to g plus g omega c l again this is the uh, the distance of the uh, transmission line in, in kilometer so g this is the uh, conductance the shunt conductance of the uh, shunt emittance where this is actually the inversion of inversion of r okay. uh, o ohm ohms okay so shunt conductor per unit length g is negligible okay so by the way g equal to zero it is negligible in medium line but c the line to neutral capacitance kilometer is calculated okay so we have c we have omega so we have j as well and also the l okay and then uh, this is uh, the again the relationship if you refer to the equivalent circuit over here, so we can analyze or we can come up with this equation IL equal to IR plus uh, Y over to VR. Okay, so this is the emittance. Okay, oops, over here, these two. So we can say that IL here is equal to IR plus. Uh, we are y over to v v r okay uh, you can see from here so this is the point where you can apply kcl okay uh, so we have kcl over here the current kcl flow so now we have seen uh, two branches of i okay as the output of the il at this branch okay the kcl of node uh, a for example so one to the right and one uh, downwards, okay, to the bottom of the circuit. So we have IL equal to IR, okay, plus VR, so the Ohm's law, so VR multiplied by Y over 2. So this is the inversion of the Ohm's, so basically we have V, have v over R, but in this uh, uh, in the emittance or conductance, we have v multiplied by y over over 2 okay as the result of v multiplied by uh, 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 this is actually this is uh, y okay over over 2 okay the same thing actually here and then from here okay this is a similar so similar as what we have seen in the short model so vs equal to vr plus Z I L, so we can see from this relationship. So we have V S over here. So we have this one I L uh, multiplied by Z 
as well as the as well as the v uh, vr okay at the receiving end part and then rearrange how so we have the relationship il equal to ir plus y over to vr into this ir il sorry into this il so everything here ir plus again y over to vr over uh, into this i r i l and rearrange you may get this relationship p s equal to one plus z y over two v r plus z i the i r okay so the i r and the v r similarly this is for i i s descending <coughs> descending i okay here at this point let's say we have a point on node b so we try to apply k uh, c l at point so B, so we have this current downward, okay, which is equal to Vs, this current equal to Vs multiplied by Y over 2, okay, the invasion of R or ohms. This is Y over, Y over 2, and then this current to the right is I, I L, okay. Then we have IS equal to IL plus Y over to V, VS. And you see this VS, try to substitute all these, okay, into this VS. And rearrange, you may get in terms of, again, VR and, and IR. Okay. As well as this, sorry, as well as this I, IL. Okay. So now into this IL. Okay. So we have IL which is being replaced by this equation and VS which is being replaced by this equation. So leaving the uh, constant of IR, VR, so VR, IR. Rearrange, so you may have VR and IR relationship okay and from here i believe you can uh, actually have the parameter of a or you may uh, represent the parameter okay by a b c and and d just like we, we have in the uh, short transmission line model okay so representing the two port network okay the two port network over here port network a equal to uh, 1 plus z y over 2 so b equal to z c equal to 1 multiply by 1 in bracket so 1 plus z y over 4 and then d this is equal to a so this is equal to a we have 1 plus z y over over 2 so a and d are dimensionless so we don't you need no unit for a and d because they cancel out each other by multiplying z and between z and z and y Okay, similarly, the uh, identical operation for D, so uh, they cancel out uh, each other after we multiply Z and, and Y. Okay, because this is ohm actually uh, multiplied by more. Okay, multiplied by more. Or we can say that this is actually ohm multiplied by 1 over 1 over ohm. Okay, so ohms or ohm so that means so no no unit or dimensionless okay. and if other if the line is the same when viewed from either end so regardless where the line you are uh, be we view from so either uh, sending or receiving end so the dimension are still zero or less and they are equal in equation. So the dimension B and C are ohms and moles. Yes, this is ohm Z. Okay. So this is C this moles. So moles because this has, even though this has been cancelled out each other, but you still have Y. Okay, as the unit or the dimension. So you have more over here still remaining, and this is obviously ohm so the determinant 
of the line matrix is unity. Okay, AB, so this is the determinant AD minus BC. Again, the determinant of the matrix, the line matrix is equal to 1 or unity. So we can find we are and I are if ZS and IS are unknown. Okay. So we are so try to arrange the equation. Okay. In terms of this parameter A, B, C, D. Okay, we may get uh, VR in terms of VS and IS. Okay. Similarly for IR, we arrange the equation. So you may get the uh, relationship in terms of IS and uh, VS. So so rearrange again, this is VR equal to DVS K minus B, VS, BIS because you know that this is the determinant of the uh, matrix and this is equal to unity, this is equal to 1 and this is equal to, uh, this is three points. So leaving VR equal to DVS minus BIS, IR equal to AIS minus CBS. So in matrix form, the inverse matrix because uh, just now in the uh, short line we have uh, v in term of Vs but this time around we have the inverse matrix in term of V, Vr and also R means the receiving end and part. Okay, previously we have seen so everything is represented in term of uh, sending quantities Vn, Vns. So we do have D minus B Okay, second parameter and then the third parameter we have A and minus C over here. So make it inverse, reverse, inverse, sorry. And then we have D minus B, so negative C and also A for, for IS. Okay. Right, then what happened during the no load operation? So uh, if the system is run at no load, so IE, IR is zero. Yes, this is the condition. Uh, under no load operation where we have IR equal to uh, 0 ohm ampere, sorry. So thus A is the ratio between Vs and Vr. Okay, so we can see from uh, where is it? This is one. Okay, so whenever the value of IR is uh, 0, so rearrange, so we can see that A is actually the ratio between Vs over Vr. So is the receiving end is short circuit. So uh, the end part of the circuit of the transmission line is being short circuit. So VR equal to zero. Okay. So now look, we mean open, we mean open circuit, IR equal to zero, but short circuit. So we have a straight line over here. So we have VR equal to zero, zero volt. And thus, again, from uh, this expression, since we have VR equal to zero volt, so rearrange and we can get the, uh, the ratio uh, Vs over Rr is actually defined by uh, this B. Constant A is useful. Why? In computing uh, voltage regulation, if Vr full load is the receiving end voltage at full load for ascending end voltage uh, V Vs. Uh, because you know at, uh, the, the equation for Vr, again, this is equal to uh, VR, this is during no load, okay, so minus VR, so uh, let me write this way, simple way, FL, the full load minus VR, uh, full, full load 100%, okay. So we have seen that during a no load where IR equal to zero, okay, receiving current is equal to zero, so this is equal to VS, the sending voltage, sending end voltage over over A. So this is why uh, constant A is useful in computing, computing voltage regulation, okay, due to this relationship. Oops, so this is what I have uh, explained earlier. So we have Vs, the modulus Vs, we take the magnetic value only over A, Vr full load over Vr full load. Alright, again, uh, thank you very much for your time. So, we will see again in the uh, last part of the video where we will discuss about the example 7.4 applying the medium uh, medium transmission line in more comprehensive.